Welcome to the Out of School Time Projects Video Resource Library. This bank of resources is made possible by the generosity of the Motorola Mobility Foundation, Public Health Management Corporation, the City of Philadelphia's Department of Human Services, and members of the Out of School Time community. This video is the second in a series of two videos about effectively planning program schedules. This video will focus on developing program schedules that will help youth and staff members to get the most out of the program day. When it comes to your planning process, start with anything that is absolutely unchangeable. For example, if you have to serve snack first thing because the youth arrive hungry, plug that into your schedule first. When considering the duration of each activity, again consider youth needs. Do youth need 45 minutes for snack? Probably not. This is where routines can help maximize the program day. Or maybe the kindergartners eat more slowly than the older youth. Since we are basing our schedule on the developmental level and needs of the youth, it probably doesn't make sense for kindergartners and fifth graders to follow the exact same schedule. Many programs start with a daily or weekly schedule that looks something like this. The general categories such as physical activity and enrichment activity make the schedule general enough to use for most days. However, it provides very little information to the youth or parents about what will be happening. Instead, think about creating a schedule where the actual activities are written out. A weekly schedule format works well for this, as it can be posted each Monday and remain up for an entire week. Notice that some of the activities indicate a choice. If there are two staff members in the group, each group leader might lead an activity and allow youth to select which one they'd like to participate in. If there is only one group leader, he or she could offer the two options to the youth and take a vote. What is important is that youth have a voice in the activity scheduled. For the enrichment activity period, notice that there is a different activity or activities scheduled for each day. This group is working on a gardening project that involves growing vegetables in a small planter behind the school. As a result, the activities are all related to this central theme. Some are outdoors, others involve more literacy or science content. There is even a guest speaker scheduled. While this is the schedule for the 4th and 5th grade group, notice that some activities, like gardening, may be combined with other groups. For this sample schedule, homework is scheduled toward the end of the day. This meets the needs of the youth as it allows them to burn off some energy and relax before homework time. It is also a way of encouraging parents to pick up their children after 5.30, since most parents want their children to receive homework support. This allows the youth to get the benefits of full participation in the program and helps the program maintain high utilization rates. During the last 30 minutes of the day, many youth are leaving and staff may need to chat with parents. A couple of self-directed activities that youth can choose between are great for this time of the day. Be careful about planning craft projects that may need to dry or a game that will be impacted when youth leave. It can also be helpful to include the location of various activities as well as the names of the staff members facilitating them. This will help families and the rest of the team to know where to find the youth when they arrive. That concludes our introduction to planning effective program schedules. As a quick reminder, it's a great idea to develop both a long-term plan for the program year and short-term weekly schedules that provide more detail. 
consider posting weekly schedules each Friday for the coming week. Always put youth needs first and be able to explain to parents and staff members why a particular schedule is in the best interest of their youth. One size does not fit all, so remember to keep in mind the developmental needs of each age group you work with. If your youth split into different groups, consider creating a separate schedule for each group. Minimize transitions and maximize time. Transitions take precious program time and many unintentionally lead to misbehavior. To get the most out of your program day, make sure you are thoughtfully using every minute. Adding detail to your program schedule, such as where the activities will take place, will help to coordinate the use of space and let families know where to find their children. And youth voice and choice in the schedule is key to creating a program where youth are engaged. Try to provide opportunities for youth choice at least once a day. Thank you for watching this video. This is one in a series about OST programming. For additional videos and more information about after school and summer camp programs in Philadelphia, please visit our website. Thank you.